shop as you know last week I didn't do a vlog but it's nice to be back in here now I was a little bit unwell so I decided to take the whole week and I spent the time doing some um, behind the scene business stuff which is really exciting I've been working really hard on that hopefully I'll be able to share that in the next couple of weeks or months depending on um, how it goes so let's just crack on with everything I've got to do the shop needs one hell of a clean <laughs> While I take a quick break, um, I'll just fill you in on the gear station part two. Now, last week obviously I didn't put out a vlog and because I wasn't in the workshop, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to edit some of that video. I'd already started half of it, so I thought, well, I'll finish off all the footage that I've got left. <laughs> Unfortunately, somehow I've lost all the footage, including the video the part of the video that I've already edited. So that's news. Um, I've got two options. Start all over again. Um, make everything all over again. Um, for the part two that is. Option two would be to wait it out and hopefully I can find where the footage is gone um, or recover it. So that's the dilemma I'm thinking about right now. Um, I suppose I could just do it again or I could do um, different holders to go on the gear station and show that instead. I don't know. But anyway, if you're wondering where the gear station part two is, well, nobody knows. <laughs> So this is where I left off with the mallet, um, I've routed in the shoulder and I know I mentioned that I lost the template so I don't know why I didn't think of this last time however I've just put a bush in in my router so that can follow the pattern and obviously the 
router bit will go on the inside and leave a couple of mil from the edges so we'll just put the outline of where the mortise will be i'm not going to go all the way down obviously because i want this to be at an angle so i'll be chiseling it out by hand but i'm just gonna get the outline and then i'll get the majority of the waste out probably with a hand drill so as you can see i've left a inside mortise now so this will be the shoulder and then obviously this will go all the way through to the other side that's just a reference for me now when i'm chiseling which will be a lot more accurate than trying to put a pencil line in there So I've just transferred my line so you can see the distance of the mortise in the centre and then my lines here are transferred and what I'm going to do then is line up the markers. So this line here then lines up with this marker. I'll just pencil a line there and that'll just give me a visual um, when I'm chiselling. So I'll be able to, by eye, hold my chisel at that angle um, and obviously clear the waste out. I should also point out that these parts will be taken away. It's only this side and this side that I need reference for. Okay, time for me to head home, have some lunch and hopefully get a little mini vlog out for this Friday um, because I'm playing catch up so yeah I'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you later if I do any carving. <laughs>